Jamie and Claire's plans to travel to Scotland were thwarted by Cornelius Harnett's reappearance in Outlander Season 7, Episode 4, but their new destination of Fort Ticonderoga foresees the action that would occupy their future given the fort's historical significance in the American Revolutionary War. Jamie's connection to the Sons of Liberty turned out to be crucial. He wouldn't have been asked to help if he hadn't intervened to save Harnett in Season 6 of Outlander. Jamie and Claire are thrust into yet another conflict with the British as a result of Harnett pressuring him by threatening conscription, which ensures critical developments for Outlander Season 7 that will undoubtedly cause a pebble in Jamie and Claire's lives. Fort Ticonderoga was established as more than just Jamie and Claire's destination in Outlander Season 7, Episode 4. Outlander Season 7 recently introduced the new characters before sending them along with William Ransom towards the fort, so it's clear that Harnett's word about General Schreiler needing extra troops at the fort also reached Rachel and Denzel Hunter. Jamie and Claire's presence at Fort Ticonderoga establishes their centrality within the American Revolutionary War, as both the Battle of Fort Ticonderoga and the Siege of Fort Ticonderoga were significant historical events. What happens at Fort Ticonderoga in an echo in the bone will solidify the relationship between the Hunters and the Frasers. Fort Ticonderoga's strategic location at the southern end of the confined Lake Champlain in New York afforded it control over the Lachute River, which still links Lake Champlain to Lake George. The star-shaped fort, which the French constructed between 1755 and 1757 and originally called Fort Carillon, played a crucial strategic role in the Seven Years' War. Even the fort's name, Ticonderoga, which means between two waters in Iroquois, recognizes the fort's vital location. However, as Outlander emphasized, Fort Ticonderoga's significance is elevated to a completely new level during the American Revolutionary War. The Battle of Fort Ticonderoga was crucial in raising the spirit of the American revolutionaries. Even though Fort Ticonderoga wasn't first introduced in Outlander Season 7 until the Continental Army had already taken control of it via History.com. The Green Mountain Boys Militia, led by Ethan Allen and Benedict Arnold, overthrew the British garrison in May 1775 when the fort was still under British authority. They also took possession of their weaponry, which included guns that were crucial in ending the Boston siege that same year. Fort Ticonderoga served as a staging point for the Continental Army before attacking British-held Canadian regions because of its advantageous location. The 1777 Siege of Fort Ticonderoga, which is certain to occur shortly in Outlander Season 7, given Cornelius Harnett's speech to Jamie and the show's timeline, was another significant American Revolutionary War action that took place there. General St. Clair and his little army were effectively forced to leave the fort by the British Army, under the command of General John Burgoyne, who also managed to place a cannon atop Mount Defiance. Fort Ticonderoga's surrender was a major setback for the revolutionaries, since they believed it to be virtually impregnable. After General John Burgoyne gave up at Saratoga in November 1777, the Redcoats finally left Fort Ticonderoga. Although Jamie and Claire's forced journey to Fort Ticonderoga in Outlander Season 7 is altered in an echo in the bone, they still reach the location in the book. Additionally, in an echo in the bone, the British capture Claire as a result of the siege of Fort Ticonderoga, driving young Ian and Jamie to rescue her and enlist in a militia to fight the British in the First Battle of Saratoga. Fort Ticonderoga turns out to be a significant occurrence in the Seventh Outlander novel, even if Claire, Jamie, and Ian eventually succeed in using the Saratoga battles to return to their original intention to journey to Scotland.